Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. The Sephora VIB Spring Sale is in full swing. This is a perfect time to stock up on products you're running low on. Also a great time to try out some things you've had your eye on for a while. Great time to pick up some things you might like for the summertime. I've gathered some products in my collection that I feel like are totally worth checking out this time around for the Sephora VIB sale. Some of these are a bit newer, so that's why I brought them out. And then some of them are just classics, and it would be a great time to pick them up right now since you can get them on sale. I'm going to start out with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is such a popular primer, and I've only recently started using it again after trying it probably a year ago. And I feel like I'm just now realizing what an amazing primer this is. This really does add longevity to your makeup, I feel. And it also adds quite a bit of moisture into your skin. It creates a really nice sticky base for your makeup. And it's not like the makeup is gonna go on splotchy over top of it. I feel like the moisture that the Hydro Grip has really helps with the makeup spread on evenly and look beautiful and flawless but then also create a base that is going to keep your makeup on for longer. I definitely think the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is something that is worth checking out especially if you can get it on sale because it is a little expensive. Rare Beauty just launched their tinted moisturizer and I am obsessed. This is actually the second time I'm using this product. I recently posted a first impressions of this and I had planned on wearing it again today just because I loved it so much and I was really curious to see how this tinted moisturizer applied with a brush. So I'm going to be applying it today with a brush. I really think that so many people are going to fall in love with this tinted moisturizer. So it would be a great time, obviously, to pick it up right now, getting it anywhere between 20 and 10% off. Oh, I'm so glad I'm liking it with a brush as well. Honestly, the reason why I'm filming this video aside from sharing my Sephora sale recommendations was so that I can get this tinted moisturizer on my face again because I just loved it so much yesterday. It is so good and it is applying beautifully right now. Definitely check out my first impressions if you're curious to see that. I also featured some other like newer products in my collection in that video. But yeah, this just completely looks like skin. There's not an area on my face where the product is going on weird or not gripping. It really just looks like I've applied a layer of perfected skin. And I feel like that's Kind of exactly what I look for in a tinted moisturizer. So yeah, that is what my skin looks like with the Rare Beauty tinted moisturizer. I use the shade 32N. I saw that there were already a few shades sold out of this product, so definitely, definitely scoop it if you can. Another great foundation that I've been really loving and I do want to do a full-on review of is the Kosas Revealer Foundation. This is an SPF of 25. It is more coverage than the tinted moisturizer obviously but this has been a go-to foundation for me the one that works for me is medium neutral 220 in case we're foundation twins i do have a video on my channel where i use kosas and milk makeup to complete a makeup look and i do use the revealer foundation in that video if you're curious for my concealer though i am going to use the kosas revealer concealer i've been really liking the shade 4.5. I do sometimes use 5 and then 5.5 in the summertime. They were looking okay, but they were just a little bit too deep. So I decided to get 4.5 to use at least while my skin tone is this shade. But I love the Revealer Concealer. This has been slowly turning into one of my favorite concealers. I would say it is a medium to full coverage concealer that is super lightweight. 
I'm also like always shocked by how little this concealer creases underneath my eyes and I do think a lot of people experience the same thing so definitely check it out I feel like it works for so many people I do know that the shade range is a little bit challenging for people the concealers and the foundation as well lean very yellow so definitely check out swatches or try and swatch them in person. On the Sephora website right now, Kosas does have a little trio value pack where you can get the brow pop, a clear air brow, and then a colored air brow. I love the Kosas eyebrow system. My most used product from the system is the colored air brow. I use this so, so often, especially when I'm running out the door or I have a really early morning the colored one is just so so good i like the dark brown shades in the kosas brow products so that is what i'm using i'm just lightly going through my brows with the brow pop right now i think that might be all i do yeah i'm just gonna fill in my brows a little bit i think getting the value pack would be such a good idea right now and then also you get a discount on top of it, so you get it for even cheaper. So that is what my brows look like with just the air brow through them. I am amazed by how much hold this brow gel has. I feel like with brow gels, they do have a good hold, but you know, some of them do fall throughout the day. But this one really does a good job at keeping the shape wherever you push your brows to. It just does an amazing job at holding them exactly there. And I feel like the color in the air brow is very filling. It's very natural. It definitely makes my brows look fuller and filled in, but I've really just run brow gel through them. If you're looking to just get one, totally recommend the colored version of the air brow. But I think that the value kit where you get all three for a cheaper price and you can use the VIB sale discount on top of, I think that that's such a good idea. For primer, I am going in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers ever. If you are looking for a more high-end one to spend your money on, I do like the Milani eyeshadow primer, but you obviously can't get Milani at Sephora. So if you are looking for a primer to pick up during the Sephora sale, the only one I would recommend, honestly, is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've tried the Milk Hydro Grip one, and I just really don't like it. I don't think it does anything for the longevity of my shadows. And I just think that the Urban Decay one is unbeatable. I think that the Milani one is a great dupe, but I do definitely recommend the Primer Potion from Urban Decay. I think that eyeshadow palettes are a thing of the past. I know that really they aren't. There's like new eyeshadow palettes being released all the time, but I just don't really love the idea of spending $50 on a palette full of eyeshadow colors where I'm only going to be using probably like three or four of them. So if you are looking for more eyeshadows to add to your collection but you don't really want to go the palette route but you're not super keen on single shadows, I love the Kaja Little Beauty Bento eyeshadow stacks. This one is in Chocolate Dahlia. There are so many variations of these that you can pick from and I I like pretty much all of them. I own a lot of them and all of them are good. This one, the Chocolate Dahlia one, comes with one shimmery shade, it comes with a medium matte brown, and then it comes with a deeper matte brown. And I just think that this stack is so good. It's a great one for every day. It's a great one for travel. I'm going to start my eye look with the medium brown, and I'm really just getting that through my crease. This is definitely like a neutrally brown. So it's not super cool, but it's also not going to be very warm either. I think that the quality of these eyeshadows is amazing as well. I love how they blend out. I love the mattes in them. They do have two stacks that are totally matte, and then they have a few stacks that are totally like shimmers or glitter toppers. But then they do have a couple where there is a mix of mattes and shimmers. So definitely check them out, see which ones you think that you'd like best. I'm taking a tiny blending eyeshadow brush. I'm dipping it into the deep brown matte and I'm going to line my lash line with it just to get a little bit of shadow right there. I'm 
I'm kind of bringing the shadow up into my crease area but it's really sticking on the outer corner. This is a sort of single eyeshadow that I would 100% recommend checking out. These are the Janessa Myricks Color Fixes, and this one is in the shade Ballerina. Ballerina is especially so beautiful. It's like a really bright pink, shimmery, like metallic-y shade. I'm taking it on a fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to start applying it to my lid. I had held off on purchasing the shade for a while because I was kind of worried it would look very frosty on my skin tone, but there's something about the base in this shade that's a little bit like reddish pink, so it ends up being so flattering. It ends up being so much more flattering than like a frosty pink silvery eyeshadow shade. I have a lot of Danessa Myricks color fixes. Unfortunately, Sephora does not carry the entire collection of them, but I do really enjoy the mattes. There are several other shimmers that I really like. Celebration and Goldmine are stunning. And the thing about these color fixes that are amazing is that once you apply them to your lid and they set, they really do not budge. Obviously, the help of a primer underneath of them definitely goes a long way. Really by themselves, the Danessa Myricks Color Fixes, they're a very long-wearing eyeshadow or just like makeup product in general because you can use them on your eyes, cheeks, and your lips. I would definitely recommend checking out the shades that Sephora has and maybe picking out one or two that you think you can get a lot of use out of. The Ballerina shade, I just adore. I think that it is so pretty. I always get so many compliments whenever I wear this shade, and I can wear this shade like totally by itself and it looks amazing. I don't even need to add like a little base to it. I'm going back in with the deeper matte brown. I'm softly lining my lash line again just to make sure we didn't lose any of that color. I'm taking the top shade in the Chocolate Dahlia little stack and this is the one shimmery shade that they have and I'm applying that in the inner corner just for a little bit of a pop. I'm going to be curling my lashes to prep them for mascara. This is the Rare Beauty Universal Strokes Mascara. I think that this would be a great mascara to pick up during the sale as well if you're looking for something new. I do definitely think that mascara is one of those items that you can definitely go to the drugstore to get a really good quality one. But if you are shopping and you do want a new mascara, I recommend the Rare Beauty one. I do also really like the Kosas one, but unfortunately that one irritates my eyes quite a bit. I think that the Rare Beauty one, though, just hits all of the marks for me. Like, it does all of the things that I want it to do in a mascara, and then it doesn't irritate my eyes and it's easy to take off at the end of the day. So I do always just keep going back to this mascara. These are some newer cheek products from Milk. I have the Bionic Bronzer, Bionic Highlight, and then the Bionic Blush. I'm first taking the Bionic Bronzer, and I have mine in the shade Shape Shift. I'm using my little e.l.f. airbrush precision brush to apply it. It's really a beautiful, beautiful, lightweight liquid bronzer. It applies so nicely and goes on so smooth. I really like the color of it a lot. And it is a newer and more interesting formula. So I do think if you had been wanting to try out this product for a little while, now would be the perfect time to get it and give it a go. I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Bionic Highlight. I have mine in the shade Virtual. This is a highlighter I can actually get behind. I don't really love or use highlighters a ton in my everyday makeup wearing, but this one is so subtle. It really just looks, it's like glow in a bottle. It's not overly shimmery or metallic. 
it's very smooth when you apply it and it doesn't ever like accentuate texture or anything the tube is also huge so you can mix it in with like skincare or a matte foundation there are tons and tons of blushes that you can get from sephora that i love i love the rare beauty liquid blushes i really enjoy the janessa myricks vision flush to keep with the bionic collection though i am going to use the milk bionic blush and i have mine in the shade beyond I love this berry shade. It's probably like one of my favorite purpley blushes in my collection. That is, I don't like the Rare Beauty purple blush. I think it's in the shade Faith. I don't like that blush at all because it's a matte formula, which kind of sucks. But it is okay because the Bionic blush from Milk in the shade Beyond is so beautiful. It is a perfect like berry purpley shade so if you're wanting to get a shade like that I definitely recommend checking out beyond that's such like a popular shade to wear right now especially if you have a skin tone similar to mine or you are deeper it is such a popular popular blush shade at the moment for good reason it's beautiful like this is so flattering I'm going to set my skin right now I grabbed the Urban Decay all-nighter translucent powder there are also a few different setting powders that I do like from Sephora I like the rare beauty one I really like the Fenty one although you can get Fenty at Ulta now but I pulled out the Urban Decay one just because it's a powder I haven't used in a while it is a really good one it's great for like an all-over dusting but then also really good for baking. It's very smoothing, but super duper lightweight. I don't think I would ever get on here and recommend you spend more than $16 on a lip liner. I don't know. Lip liners, I think, from the drugstore are so beyond good. This one is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Sugar and Spice. And honestly, there are, there's not another lip liner in my collection, like high-end or drugstore, that I like more than this one. It's just so perfect for me. So yeah, there's really not a lip liner from Sephora that I would recommend when the, the most perfect lip liner is right here and it's like $3. So yeah, I would not recommend spending more money on a lip liner. Don't buy a lip liner during the VIP sale. So I'm going to use this one. There are pages and pages and pages of lip products that you can get at Sephora. Definitely pick whatever one up that you've been wanting, but I do really like the Kaja Gloss Shots. I like the Kaja Gloss Shots much more than I like the Tower 28 lip glosses, so definitely keep that in mind. There are lots of people who love the Tower 28 lip glosses, but they are just personally not for me. So I do like the Kaja Gloss Shots as an alternative to those. And I'm a gloss girl. I do like lipstick. But yeah, I'm a gloss girl. I really like the shade Pink Drink. I used to have a full-size one of this, but I lost it. But then I got a mini in a Kaja kit, so I was like, okay, perfect, awesome. Don't need a full-size. And then I also really like the Honey Drizzle shade. This one's a little bit pale, so definitely worth using a lip liner underneath. But I'm going to use the Honey Drizzle shade today. These are so smooth and glossy, but never sticky. They're like the perfect gloss in my opinion, and I really like the shades that they come in. Lastly, I'm going to set my skin with some setting spray and Milk Hydro Grip setting spray. I really recommend you check it out during the sale so that you can get it on discount. I used to love and like only use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, but I recently switched over to the Milk Hydro Grip and I do think it's better. The Urban Decay one is amazing and I think that if you have like very very oily skin and you don't want to be oily, I think that the Urban Decay one is, is good. It might be better for you. But I think that the Milk Hydro Grip does an amazing job at like actually adding longevity to my makeup while also keeping my skin hydrated and looking beautiful. So yeah, Milk Hydro Grip, I really really like it. So this is my completed look using makeup from Sephora that I would recommend checking out during the sale. I have a Sephora VIB sale at recommendations from November, which obviously isn't 
old so it's still very relevant definitely check that out if you want more recommendations but yeah all these products in front of me I really enjoy I really love and I think that they would be definitely worth checking out for this Sephora VIB sale if you are wanting some new products in your collection or like newer releases in your collection I would love to know what you all are picking up during the Sephora sale let me know down below let me know if any of these products caught your eye anyway that is going to be it from me today Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so, and hopefully I will see you next time.